Welcome to our tutorial about setting a breakpoint. In this tutorial, we're going to set a breakpoint and then execute our program step by step. First, let's comment out these lines of code. Now I'll set the breakpoint at line 5. A red circle appears at line number 5. The code is now in a crimson highlight. What this means is that the code execution will stop at this point. That's what a breakpoint is. OK. If I mouse over the red circle, I see a pop-up window telling me that this is line 5 of this form and line 3 of this procedure. Let's click the Debug button to see our form in runtime. Let's click Click Me, and here's a yellow arrow indicating where the code has stopped. When I mouse over this line, I receive an explanation for what is happening. Label 1's text property is currently empty. Now let's click Step Into. Now if I mouse over, the text property of label Control 1 stores the string Hello World. Our yellow arrow moves to the next line. This next line will only be executed after I click Step Into. Here's our form with the label displaying the words Hello World. This is a very simple example. Later in this course, we're going to talk more about debugging applications. And this concludes our tutorial about how to set a breakpoint.